It's me, Audi Customs again, and um, as you all know, um, soon the Marksman DLC Armor 3 is rolling out. And including with uh, that DLC, there's a big update for Armor 3. Um, main features are uh, bipods, but um, they're not as interesting as um, the complete rework of. Uh, the audio stuff uh, in Armor 3. So, um, the uh, uh, audio rework includes um, sort of the uh, gun tails. Um, according to the environment you're shooting, um, uh, like when you're in a hillside, yeah, got longer reverb than you're shooting inside urban villages and stuff like that. And, um, <coughs> Um, it used to be that the reverb, uh, the gun tail, was included in the actual uh, gun sound. So um, Bohemia decided to split that up to uh, have a clean gun, gunshot sound, and adding various reverbs, like I said, according to the uh, environment. Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, they will do that with their um, with their vanilla weapons. And some of you are um, more uh, into doing stuff yourself. Um, if you don't like the vanilla tails, or if you are a, a, um, um, a weapon modder, doing your own weapons, and you want your own custom sounds, uh, so um, you have uh, two options. You can use the um, the vanilla reverbs, um, or you can do the reverbs your own, the tails your own, on your own. Uh, okay, <coughs> and of course for uh, yeah, pretty cool customization, customization of your uh, weapon uh, when you're doing your uh, one on your own, uh, you want to do your own tails, and um, this is. Uh, some kind of solution how you could achieve that <coughs> excuse me what you need is um proper uh audio software uh daw digital digital audio workstation oh my god um uh, a reverb plugin and some pretty nice uh impulse response files Okay, may sound a little bit strange. Input response, what's that? Oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to talk about that later. So, um, in my case, I'm using um, Steinberg Cubase. Um, I've, uh, I've been using this for, I don't know, years? Can't remember. Um, and for the example I'm doing, I'm using um, the built-in reference reverb from Steinberg. And um, I'm doing this with uh, some weapon sounds and tails from the Boom libraries I uh, got lately. Yeah, pretty sweet, though. Okay, let's start off with um, yeah, some um, some weapon sound. I'm using uh, the AK. AK close miking sounds like this. Uh, as you can hear, there is a little bit of um, tail on it. Um, yeah, for demonstration purpose, I'm gonna leave it like that. And the next thing I will do is I'm going to duplicate the uh, original file. And um, I'm adding a reverb plugin to the first file. Uh, like I said, I'm using a reference, the built-in um, the built-in uh, reverb from Steinberg. It's pretty sweet, though. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, the um, 
important thing about this plugin is um, you can import impulse response files. So what are those? Impulse response files are basically, um, um, how do you explain that? They are basically carrying the room information, um, the characteristic of a room or of an environment or whatever. So um, it's um, a WAV file normally, well, at least mine are WAV files, and um, it's an, an impulse, um, a wide band frequency impulse, send and out, either uh, with a with a gun or uh, or a loud clap or um, I don't know what they really use for it. I, I don't really care. And um, they are, uh, and the files are uh, basically the recordings of uh, these impulse. So, um, you know, when you're, um, when you're staying in a, in a little room, clap your hands, you have almost no reverb. And when you're uh, in the woods or, uh, or a hillside and clapping your hands, you got a decent echo. So uh, they are, uh, those files are the recordings of those, um, of those sounds. And like I said, in those files, there is uh, the room or the environment information stored. And um, when I'm importing those, uh, uh, those uh, WAV files, um, the information is uh, transferred to my reverb. So I have uh, the, um, the AK-47 here. This one uh, with the reverb plugin, and I have uh, the uh, unprocessed um, file down here. So I'm going to mute that first. So, and I'm importing um, um, the uh, impulse response file now. Oh, what do I have it. Uh, it's here. Outdoor. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go with outdoor impulse. Um, let's go for, yeah, come on, let's go for this. So 50 meters, sounds good. So as you can see, the information here has changed. And I'm going to play uh, the processed sound with the reverb with the with the, uh, with the impulse response file. So this is um, the uh, file without uh, the reverb. And now with the reverb. And uh, now I'm, uh, okay, well, yeah. Exactly what I've uh, what uh, what I've done. So um, uh, the reverb plugin um, is set up to mix one hundred percent. So no dry signal, no original signal um, is uh, hearable. Hearable is there even a word? I don't know. You can you can't hear uh, the dry sound, the unprocessed sound. Only the processed sound with the reverb plugin. And now I'm going to mix that. Okay, and if you want to be pretty cool, uh, you can 
um, added the uh, the uh, the uh, oh my god, I'm losing the words. Ugh. You can um, <laughs> do some stuff in <laughs> the equalizer. Oh my god. Um, yeah, if you uh, want a little bit more of uh, yeah um, a, a presence, yeah, you can put some here. If you don't uh, don't wanna um, don't want the low frequencies in your reverb, uh, you can do a low cut like this. But the most important thing is you get the room information. So um, in this case, it's um, hold on. Um, uh, it's a forest uh, with an open spot in here, uh, uh, 50 meter distance. Yeah, that's what it is basically. So um, mm, all you have to do now is uh, okay. I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, you're gonna mute. Uh, the gunshot um, check how long the reverb tail is I guess it's something about four and a half seconds to five seconds and just export the process file and you got your tail that's all pretty easy pretty simple and uh, I guess uh, when you do when you want to do um, 20 weapons in a row you might take 30 minutes, 45 max, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet uh, to process those many uh, files in a row. Um, yeah, okay, just to repeat it again, all you need to do your um, custom tail sounds is you need a proper audio program, audio software uh, called DAW. Um, you need um, a plugin, a reverb plugin, either it's a uh, direct X, uh, VST, VST3, uh, whatever. Uh, there are so many plugins according to what software you're using, of course. Um, and the plugin needs to be capable of processing impulse response files. Um, those impulse response files, there are many libraries out there. Um, libraries for free uh, and libraries uh, which cost money um, like the boom libraries they cost but they're pretty good and um, if you want to go with uh, uh, the free libraries you have to search pretty long to find pretty good um, um, uh, libraries or uh, single files but it's worth it looking for them Okay, that's all. Have fun doing your own tales. See you next time. Bye-bye.